Hi, we're Paul and Marie, and we're a UK reselling couple from Southampton in Hampshire. And today we're here at our local auction. It's a fine arts and general auction to see if there's anything here we can buy. Oh, God, are they? It's done as well in the past, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. New stuff, look. Mm. And that's a lot of wear, a lot of the gold worn. Yeah. Got it in there, look, hiding in there as well. Well? Yeah. Uh, it's not the isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah, that's what you mean about the. Um, is it? Jesus. I'm going to have to ban you, aren't I? <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? It is difficult. Do we need to do a count? Can I have a bit of slurp? Are these. No, no, that's not them. I don't know what language that is. <laughs> Zucker. Sometimes. Mm. Yeah. TVs. Next. Four, four, eight. Do you want to um, drop down four, four, eight? Yeah. Have a look at the bottom. Number is it? Four, four, eight. Oh. Just um, curious. I'll take a look at what one of Something like little wooden boxes. They've always just split them up, look, because you wouldn't, you know. Oh, yeah. Look at that shell one, isn't it lovely? Hmm. So this is some must be the same person who's collected them all. Because look, they've got yeah. Yeah, lovely for the, for the quality of the wood on that. Oh, you stuff one of them. I mean, I wondered if it was like an original sort of, I'm just looking for a label, but... I can't see I did, it, it looks the same. That one, I'm guessing. Sorry? Not even the post. No, you wouldn't be able to. Well, you would, but quite a bit. Well, that comes with it as well. Okay. Is that like a fire guard? Yeah. Oh. 
That's cool. That's lovely. It's just the outside's a bit rough. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad, a bit warmer. It's two different sizes, it's very colourful. Of course, that four pieces we got. Yeah. It's actually gone. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not wicker, is it? It's no. plastic. Yeah. Okay. No. It's, it's all. It's all. It? Look, it's all broken at the back. Oh yeah, we're not interested anyway. No. In the picture, it looks like actual wicker. Yeah. It's clever, isn't it? It looks really. Yeah. Still got a fair bit of money in it, I think, but. Not really. Not really. Yeah. What time is it? I don't know. It's coffee time. <laughs> I was going. I was quite tempted to say chico time. <laughs> That's embedded in my brain. It's chico time. <laughs> oh God, it's so cold. It is cold. Back in the car now, got our coffee. It's very cold. It's very, very cold. <laughs> we did find um, 12 lots that we're sort of interested in that we're going to do a bit of research. Um, we found out some comics in one lot, some Beano comics that we've bought from this auction house before. Um, we saw a lot of um, approximately 40 money boxes, which we're going to have a look, go back and have a look at. Um, there was two or three lots of wooden boxes sort of inlaid um, vintage in inlaid sort of wooden boxes. Um, we saw some children's chairs, some wicker chairs, some coalport snowmen items, um, and you were interested in the techniques and the sh and the Sherwood yeah. electrical. Yeah, we do a bit of research that was. and um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, see what they're going for. And we did see a Le Creuset lot, didn't we, with four yeah. Le Creuset. Yeah. Um, things in. So we're going to head home now with our coffee, um, get the computer on and, and do a little bit of research. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi, we're back from the auction and we've had time to have a look at um, all of the items, all of the 12 items that we were interested in. We've gone through them. We've had a look at all the sold items on eBay. So the prices that we've worked out are based on check-in solds on eBay um, just to let you know that so far um, we've taken about four hours and 40 minutes um, doing research. That involves the journey to the um, auction house and the time that we were there looking. So our time is about four hours and 40 and the fuel cost would be for about a 40 minute journey. So our first item we're looking at is 448. This is the Techniques Amp Tuner Tape Deck Turntable and a Philips CD player. And we've worked out that we roughly um, want to be bidding £60 for this item. Now, this particular auction house has fees and VAT, which equates to about 30%. So 
So this will take it up to, to £78, which means we're approximately paying £15 for each of the five items. So our bid of £60 has been confirmed. So the next auction lot we would like to bid for is 228, which is a Sherwood audio video receiver. Um, had a quick look on eBay. This has sold for £46, so we're going to put a bit of a cheeky bid in for this um, of £12, which with fees will come to £15.60. So our bid is going to be for £12. Then our next auction lot is lot 533. Right. OK, we can see that uh, we've been outbid for this item already. So are we interested in going I any higher or we're just going to leave it? No, we, we've agreed our maximum, haven't we? So I think we should just um, leave it. OK, just so I'll put a cross against that one. That's we'll be getting that. No, unless you wanted to go higher. No, I don't think so. So our next auction lot is 533. This is for some Evesham gold um, crockery. Now... As you may remember earlier on the video, there there were quite a lot of items here. We have sold Evesham Gold before, um, and it does go quite quickly. But some of these items were qu quite well worn, especially the gold trim on, on um, some of the plates and the dishes. So um, we've had a look. There are approximately 167 items. They are quite quick to list because you, you do your first listing for the plates and then you can just change plates to cups and cups to the saucers so it is really quick to list but you do have to clean every item wrap every item bag every item so there is a fair amount of work involved in in that volume um, but we think a bit of 80 pounds will mean that with the fees we pay 104 which will mean each item is roughly 62p and we think there's money there to be made, so we're going to give it a go. So our next auction lot is 468. And this was approximately, we think, 40-ish money boxes. Now, when we looked at this, they don't look a lot in the picture, but we did pick a couple out and they... Um, They've all, all got age to them, and if they aren't enough per item, because they're all money boxes, we'd probably put two or three together to make the money back. So we're looking at putting a bid of £24, which means with fees, that will equate to £31.20, which approximately means, if there are 40 items, they will be about 78p each. So we're going to give that one a go. Our next bid is going to be f lot 435, which are for wooden boxes. So 435, we think there was at least 50 wooden boxes here. Um, you can't always rummage around when you're in the, um, in the auction place. But we did have a look and we think if we could put a bit of £30, then with fees this takes it to £39 which makes them about 78p each, which we think it's, you know, we try and aim to get things for a pound or under, because then if you've got some that are broken, it doesn't matter, there's others there that will help you make the money back. So it's all a bit of a gamble when you're doing these sorts of things, but we don't pay a lot of money. So... The next auction lot is 486... Now, this was for only 11 boxes, but they were really nice looking boxes. Um, and we think some someone had been collecting them and they've split them over three lots. And what they've done is they've taken the best pieces and put them all together because these were displayed in a glass cabinet, whereas the others were just chucked all together in a box. So um, we were looking at placing a bid of £30, but these are already up to £30, aren't they? Hmm. So it's whether we decide to bid a little bit more bearing in mind they are quite nice so they will you. go for more why don't we put um a bid in of 
40 pounds and yeah. let's go crazy let's go crazy <laughs> chances are yeah we've been out but I think it's not it's not for us I don't think I think if I had more knowledge about about them we would go for it but I think yeah. no okay. same because they're very nice okay so we'll try the um the boxes that we can afford then so 503 <laughs> <laughs> these are the ones where they're all chucked together in a box so we think there's about 30 ish you can't always count when you're at the auction but we we roughly guessed didn't we about 30 around about that so I'm thinking if we bid £46 on these, oh, I don't know if we're going to get that for that, um, it makes them £59.80 with the fees, which, which equates to one ninety nine each. So we'll give it a go and see. See if luck's on our side. £46 the bid. And just keep our fingers crossed. No. No. So it's whether you want to go higher on that one or not. We could go. Should we go up to fifty then and yeah. give it a go? Let's see if we're lucky. Okay. So we'll leave that. Okay, so our next bid is six seven four. Now we're a bit divided with this lot because it's I've got a bit of a thing for wicker, and I buy wicker whenever I can because I love it. But this is a wicker chair that's got some damage. The arm is damaged, um, but it also is quite big, so we'd have to store it in our house. Um, but it does come with a lovely fire guard. And when I looked into the fire guard, that's that's selling on eBay for over £100. So we're sort of going to take the risk and get both items in the hope that we can get the money from the fire guard and someone will love the chair as it is and just perhaps want it as an ornament or, or might want to repair it. So we're going to bid £30 and see how we get on. This makes it £39 with fees. Which makes it the each item nineteen pound fifty each. Okay, now our next lot is six six nine. Now we won't be bidding on this lot because when we've looked into it, even though these four chairs are lovely, we've sort of worked out that we wanted to spend about six pound on each chair. Um mainly because we wanted to price them up at about twenty four ninety nine each, but they already have a bid on them, um, which equates to £6.50 each, so we're not really looking at going much higher than that. We don't really know a lot about furniture, um, and even though they are gorgeous chairs, we're not, we don't really want to spend the money on them if we don't mm. know if we can get the money back. The £6.50 is with the, um, with the fees, the fees yeah. put on. So... Well, five or so six just... pound we would have been happy to spend, but any more than that, we don't mm. really want to risk it. Yeah. So now we're going to lot um, seven four four, which is the snowmen. Um, these are coal port. There are eight items, six figurines, and two plates. Now we were quite surprised. We did realise because they were behind glass in the lovely cabinet. We did realise they were going to be quite expensive, but when we've looked at solds on eBay, the the eight. They would equate to eight listings, and the total that they've all sold for recently is £445.76p. Um, our only worry with this sort of thing is that they're quite fragile. Um, they're all boxed, but you've got some, some, some areas, um, like on the big one, you've got bunny rabbit ears, or, you know, it's whether it's worth the risk of them, will they get to the person without getting damaged but as you can see they're already at 110 pound bid um so we've sort of gone we're going for a bid of 120 pound um we don't think we're going to get end up getting them um but with fees it equates to 156 pound which means they will be 19 pound 50 each um when we actually broke this one down on what had sold um, from the £456.76, 
at least £100 would be fees, eBay fees and the postage costs. So when you start breaking it down, there is money there, but you've also got the risk of them being damaged in transit. So we're happy to, to bid 120 Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But any more than that, we it's quite a lot to outlay when you've got that risk. Yeah, that's, um, that's gone already. So it's current big 130 Okay, now I'm so, so we won't. Yeah. I don't think. No, okay. I'm not. Something's holding me back a bit, and I think okay. it's. I think be, when you're at an auction place, you can. Um, well, we touch items, don't we, to pick them up. Whereas where these were behind glass, you can't pick them up and study and, them. Yeah. And if you know if there's any broken um, or, or damage, you can't see. So you know you do run the risk of that. So. Let's go to our next lot then, 749. These were um, little china figures, um, which we've decided that we won't be bidding on, mainly because they are already quite expensive. Um, at the minute, they would equate to costing £6 each. I know they're very popular, but, but when we looked at the solds, they're selling for about £15 to £17 each, um, which, which means there's not a lot of money. If you're paying £6, you want to get more than... 16 or 15 pound back yeah yeah um, once you've taken all your postage costs out and your yeah, fees now i've got no doubt some of these will be rarer than others and there probably is quite a lot of value in them but because we don't have the knowledge of which ones have have more value we don't it's not really something that interests us is it no. again you've got the same thing are they all in a really good condition or that any of them going to have any cracks or damage so for us um we're going to leave that one, aren't we? Okay. So I think our last one is 169. This was the Le Creuset. Um, was it four or five items of Le Creuset? Looked a little bit rough in the pictures, um, but we still think that if we put a bid in of £30, um, then that equates to £39 with the fees. Now, normally we work things out per piece, but on this particular one, because the, the large pot with the lid has the most value we've sort of broken that 39 pound with fees down to the large pot costing 21 and the other items costing six pound each because we would be looking at getting up trying to get at least 60 for the large pot and 20 to 25 for the other pieces so our bid for that would be 30 i don't think we'll get it for that because the cruise always goes really well at the auction but we'll give it a go Okay. So what we've done now, we've gone through all of our items. Um, we've put all the bids in. So now we just wait for tomorrow and we'll see if we can film um, either winning or losing the lots. Um, and then you can see whether we actually ended up getting anything. This auction, you have to pick the items up the following day. So tomorrow is Monday um, when the auction is. So if we have to pick anything up, then we'll, we'll film that as well. Film that as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, 435, quality deck with wooden boxes and tins, etc. Internet's at 32. Is there 34 now anywhere else? 34, 36 in the room. 38 now online. 40, 42, 44. I'll just let you know what the internet's doing. Looking for 46. 46, 46 in the room. Is there 48? And 50. 50 in the room. Is there 55 online? There is. Is there 60 in the room? 55 then online and away. Uh, 448, Technics Hi Fi, etc. 26 pounds there, 30 pounds, 34, 36, 38, 40 online. 42, 46, 48, 50, 55, 60. 60 there online. Is there 65 before I close it? 65 now is there 70? There is, there's 75. 70 and sold then. Uh, 468, small quantity of old tins and sundries. Straight in online at 24 pounds. Anybody else like 26? 24 with me. Uh, 486, antique mahogany tea caddy. 
uh, Pokemon Quill Box, etc. Let the internet do its thing. 70, 75. I've got 80, 85, 90, 100. 10, 120, 130. 120 then with me. 130 now anywhere else. Five three. Two cartons of decorative boxes and similar. Online at 60, 65, 70. 75 in the room. Is there 80 online? Is there 85? Is 85 already online? Is there 90? 85 then online. Selling away. Five double three, Quantum World Worcester, Eve, etc. Australian in there at 110, but I've got 120. Is there 130? 140 now in the room. Is there 150? 160? Is there 170? 160 now then in the room, selling it away. Thank you. Uh, 669 for various cho children's chairs. Nice little selection then. Australian with me online at £38. 40 there, 42. Is there 44? 44 there then. Is there 46? Or is there 48? 46 there then. 48 now anywhere else. Uh, 674. White painted wicker rocking chair. Brass fan shaped. Fire guard. Australian with me at £24. 26, 28. 30 now in the room, is there 32? I've got 30 in the room, 32 now anywhere else. 32, 34 it's gone to, 36, 36, 38. I've got 38 in the room, we need 40. 38 then to the room. 40 new bidder, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 55. 50 then below, anywhere else. Thank you. Seven double four, the snowman and six cohort figures. I'm um, straight online at 130. I've got 140. Is there 150? I'm out. There's 150 online. 170, 180, 190, 200, 190 and away then. 749 then, Quantic Global, infant figures, etc. Straight online at 75 pounds and 80 in the room is 85. 90, 90 there, 95 in the room. Do you want 95, sir? 95 in the room. Is there 100? 95 then to the room. Last call. Hi, we're back. It's uh, auction collection day. We've won two lots. And the cost is? About 122.20 in total. That's um, including the, um, the, all the fees. So we're gonna go and get the lots and then we'll take them home and show you what we bought. This and that? Yeah, this I'm holding and that. Okay, what do you want me to take? Well, you take the bigger one. Make sure they don't, and I'll take this, because this has got, needs to be held underneath. It's got some... Um, What's that box there? That's not to do with it, no? What's that? Little weight figures in there. Oh, cool. Didn't notice that, did they? Take it back, that's not part of it, no, that one, no. No, that's a different... That's lovely. That's, that's a different one. number, so that's yeah. not it. Right. Let's do it then. Yeah. It is actually, yeah.
connected now on our way back home and um, we'll share the stuff when we get back. So we're back and we've unloaded. As you can see, we only had two lots, so not a lot to unload. This was the money boxes lot. Um, we paid £24 with the 30% fees. It brings it to £31.20. Um, we average, average you think it's about 40 items, but until we get everything out, we won't really know. So based on 40 items, they would have been about 78p each. So I'm gonna get the items out now so we can have a look and see what we got. So, some sort of poly pocket item. I quite know what that is. Matchbox, money box. Put the glasses on. A little extra club for Harry Fax there. Tin box. Keg with key. Copper bank. Look at his face. <laughs> Quite cute. <laughs> Little lad made of pebbles. Oh, another keg. Oh, a bar key. Anvil side. Goes. I think it is. Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> a little wooden chalet shack. Small one there. A little china house. Can't quite know what that is. That must that go with there. It's got 3D on the outside of it. A telephone box. So I'm just going to chuck that out away. Right, let's have a go for this one. Oh! Coffin bank. The automatic action. Ooh. A captain, captain's treasure chest. Some sort of toy shop. Richard Scary's best musical money box book ever. Got a bit of age to it. Holland. We've got some clogs. Another Holland clog. Mm. China shoe. Black China shoe. National savings. Little piggy bank there. Oh. Green frog. Post office tin. Peter Rabbit. Oh. Sunday set. Bear with no clanger. Let's have these have got the um got the lock on after all these mm. years. There, some sort of stopper. Hopefully, we've got the that. Oh, Tremar UK. We've had um, we've had a couple of these money boxes before, haven't we? Houses. Mm. The miners' arms. And then the Colebrookdale Company. Don't know what that is. And that tub's got quite a bit of age, look. Oh, Doing yeah. Doing stack in the store. Right, so let's have a look. We didn't really look in this box properly, did we? I don't know what they are. Mini goblets. Are these some? Um... Devil's Dyke. Yeah, they're part of it as well. We've not bought them over. No. Little post office tin. Oh, oh, yeah, you ready? Don't want a dent this one. Go on. Oh, oh. 
Tom Baker has got a bit of age. That was my era, Tom Baker. And mine. Random piece of plastic. I wonder if that goes with the bin over there. Another one? Go on, go on. Oh! <laughs> bit of vintage Disney. Just from the glasses. Oh, hang on. Oh. Another one. Another one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> telephone box. So this box is filled with these little weighed animals. Lots of them. Let me tip the box up and you can have a look. Can you see in there? Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to have more than 40 items. Yeah. But when we do, um, what we do is a roundup video where we um, go through each one individually, I think. There might be some that aren't worth a lot, so we might put two or three together for eBay. But that um, is sort of what we bought from the money boxes. Now, if we look at the electrical items, um, we paid £70 for this lot. Then with fees, it came to £91, 91 pounds, yeah. um, for these five items, which makes them £18.20 each item. So we have oh. a Techniques tuner, is that? synthesizer stereo tuner. We have a Techniques stereo cassette deck. We have a Philips CD. CD. And we have a Technics so an amplifier. amplifier, amplifier yeah. And Technics, Technics uh, turntable. Record, yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure on the prices yet. We know what we've paid for everything. We will work out what we've paid for all these money boxes. I mean, normally the CD amplifier and the turntable are where the, um, where the value is. is. Yeah, but um, but we'll see. So that's what we picked up this. Again, that will be in the roundup as well, won't it? Yes. We'll do a roundup in a week's time. Yeah, we will need a bit of time and... to go through everything. Um, so we're, our next video will cover a lot of these items. Um, but for now, that was our auction video. Hope you're still awake. <laughs> we won't bore you to death completely. Um, but for now, that's that's Paul and Marie signing off. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs>